since it was senior night, can you talk a little bit about what those nine girls meant to the program over their time? I know one of them wasn't here for all four years, but for their for their time with the program. Yeah, you know, they bring it every day, and, and uh, the one thing is, you know, we've got a group of girls, especially seniors, that kind of got together and said uh, they weren't happy with how last year ended. They wanted to do things to fix it, and we talked about, you know, there's no magic pill or nothing that we can do that's going to make us 10 or 12 points better on a daily basis, but if we just focus on getting in the gym every day and getting a little bit better, uh, we'll be in good shape. And this group's really kind of hung to that all year, uh, and it feels like we're like playing quite a bit better volleyball than we were a month ago. When you have a group of seniors that kind of make that their mission to lead uh, in, in that way, how does it bring along talented underclassmen to help build a cohesive, successful team? Yeah, you know, every year you, you, it's a different dynamic and you're not quite sure what things are gonna look like. Uh, we talked in the off season that we knew we had a really nice senior class. They're, they're great people, they're high character people, uh, but that doesn't always translate to great volleyball. And, and so uh, we didn't quite know what it would look like once we got them on the floor. Uh, you don't have a lot of big vocal, uh, in your face kind of leaders, but you've got kids that lead by the way they do things, not just on the floor, but uh, on the practice floor, in the classroom, in the community, and that's nice to see. You guys lost in the championship on Saturday. It's been a while since you guys tasted defeat. What would you like about the way your team responded to? Because when you don't lose a lot, it can be tough when you do, finally do. So what would you like about the way your team responded? To yeah, you know, we, we were we went in the weekend a little shorthanded knowing we didn't have Paige and Lauren Pop. And, uh, so we were kind of looking for some people to step up. And, and step up doesn't mean new people necessarily jump in. It's just everybody embracing like a little bit more of a role. And so uh, we played people in positions that they weren't quite used to playing. It was really nice to see us step up and kind of get that. And then you can see that tonight on the floor that we could put a few more different people in. Uh, and they've got the confidence to make plays when they're in. Yeah, obviously Paige is going to steal the show a little bit. But Natalie and Kaya, they can put a swing on the ball, a pretty good swing on the ball, too. What would those two brought as secondary options? Yeah, you know, uh, early in the year it seemed like we were maybe a little more dependent on Paige than we wanted to be, and, and some of that was because she was playing well. Uh, some of that was because we weren't passing well enough to have other options, and, and Bren's done a good job of like forcing some of those other options and those girls being ready for the ball. Uh, you know, uh, to not have Paige and have that chance for people to step up this weekend, you know, we, I don't think many people outside our gym kind of thought we could beat the number one team in the state without her, and so. Uh, that's a confidence boost that we can carry with us throughout the year. Uh, for sure. And then in that last set, it was 9-0 that you guys ended up getting you know, on that run there. Paige with six kills. But just talk about that run and, and how, I guess, unique and special that was. Yeah, you know, it, it's cool because uh, every set was kind of close, four, five, six points where we didn't feel like we were taking care of the first and second contact as well as we needed to. And then we'd get kind of one stretch where we got a good competitive serve. And I think in that third set, Annie went back and gave us like a great service run. Uh, and we were able to like, keep the ball clean enough. And like you said, Paige went on a big scoring run uh, there swinging at the ball. Was Paige hurt last year? What went into her? No, she's just made just an unbelievable improvement from uh, her junior year to her senior year. And, uh, some of that's confidence. Uh, some of that's she had a great track season. And I think that helped her confidence-wise. Some of it is she's an extremely coachable kid, not just when we're in the gym, but you know we talked her at the end of the year and we said, here's some things you can do that's really going to make you improve. Uh, and I've never seen a kid uh, go from fighting for a spot as a junior to being probably a first-team All-Stater as a senior. Yeah, because I put together this list. I don't know if you saw it, where I like picked out players in the area. And she wasn't on my radar, and then I came in. I went to your guys like first or second game, and I was like, "Well, I'm an idiot. Why wasn't she on this list?" So, was that something that was apparent right away when you guys started practice? Or uh, yeah, we, you know, we went to Creighton for team camp in mid July, uh, and it's a great team camp in the fact that we get to see a lot of Omaha and Lincoln area teams that are really, really good, and get to play against a lot of people we don't play uh, during the season. And it's kind of a stress-free environment to throw people out and see how well they do, uh, and I. I remember calling back to Adam because Adam was back in Cedar Falls after day one, and I said, uh, you're not going to believe what you're going to see when we get to the fall in the gym. Uh, and, and like I said, it was just kind of everything, the way she carried herself. But you know, it, what you see is she's jumping high and she's swinging hard, but you know, she's passing well, she's defending well, she's serving a tough ball. She's just really worked on her game, and you can see it in all aspects. It's crazy. Uh, when, I mean, you lose Katie, and that was a big loss, right? Because she was your, your big swing last right. year. Right. So did you kind of feel like, well, what was that feeling like? Is thinking coming in, maybe, you know, maybe it's going to be Grace, maybe it's going to be Kaya, and then it's just somebody you didn't expect. What was that feeling Yeah, like? it, it's odd, but, you know, 
one thing we knew is that we were going to have to be more balanced and people were going to have to step forward. And, and I think those other ones have done it. You know, Paige sometimes steals the show because, like you said, she gets that run of all of a sudden five or six kills on an eight-point uh, stretch. But, you know, uh, Grace, all of a sudden, as the year's gone on, is all sudden, her hitting percentage is creeping up. Kaya's been more of an option. Uh, we knew we were asking Natalie. She sets a lot for a club team, so we asked her to do something a little out of position. And you can see she's just starting to get more comfortable. Uh, I thought tonight she took a couple line swings. She's been a little bit uh, taking the same swing over and over again as she's feeling uh, more comfortable. It's nice to see her like mix shots a little better. And so uh, we're getting to the point in the season we need more out of everybody, and, and everybody's given us a little more. Uh, and then just what's next for this group? What are you hoping to see? And, and, and I know you guys have another match this week, so what are you hoping to see well, next your team? You know, there's like, you section off the season and the stretches, and it's a little stressful, uh, especially knowing that how we play early in the season affects uh, what the regional and postseason pairings look like. And so making sure we're in a good spot from a rankings perspective and a record perspective, and we like getting through tonight, uh, you know, having that bye next Tuesday, we've got like a week and a half off. Uh, you know, we're gonna celebrate winning a conference championship, which is a big deal. Uh, but it's also kind of nice for us now because we don't play again until pairings come out. And we have the, the, the relief of not having to worry about those things and maybe can just focus on what we need to do on our side of the net. Anything else? No.